hi everyone and i hope you're doing good and i'm gonna show you my snapshots during synolog 2020 in cebu uh, a gift of myself no a uh, self gift kasi birthday ko that time and i am thankful to senior santo nino for for that day kasi nakapunta ako doon nakabalik ako sa Cebu and uh, pumunta din kami sa ibang mga tourist spots nila itong Osminia Peak uh, makikita mo sa Dalagets the Dalagets ever astonishing Osminia Peak which stands at 1013 meters above sea level is it quite rejuvenating as you can up to the mountains as it is also time for the sun to rise in the early morning. So, yan guys, ang mga kasamahan namin doon. And, you know what? As I observe, kailangan mo talagang antayin yung fog na ma-fade para makakuha ka ng tamang picture sa mga bundok-bundok na yan. Kasi, uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, iniintay talaga namin until 9 a.m. So, ganyan kaganda tapos malamig doon. Welcome to the municipality of Argao. I will give you a little bit info about this church known as Archdiocese Shrine and Parish of St. Michael to Archangel. A stone church was constructed in 1734 and was completed in 1788. Our next stop is Karkar City. As you can see, masarap talaga ang kanilang chicharon and lechon. You should try the best talaga. This is Obon Cold Spring in Cebu. The entrance fee is 10 pesos only. So affordable and sulit na kaayo. Our next stop is Simala Shrine, the miraculous castle church in Cebu, located at Upper Lindugon, Simala, Cebunga, Cebu City. If you are a Marian devotee, this is the best place for you to visit because she is considered to be the home of the miraculous Burhin sa Simala. And take note, kailangan pag pumasok ka doon is nakapalda. Tatter jeans and sando are not allowed this is my short and worth a travel in cebu i hope you like it and enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you everyone and god bless